the kind of dance you do when you know that your bono is coming out good. This is the dance you do. Hey! <laughs> for us that doesn't know how to dance, for me, dancing is all about moving your body to the tune of whatsoever that is playing around you. But there is nothing playing around me. So I am dancing to the tune I am playing in my head. The tune I am playing in my head. Hey, hey. <laughs> Remember this song. I put salami in my nanas in no pay. Put a put a no pay. Put a put a no pay. No pay. No pay. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Zeki's World. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a very beautiful day. You guys today mm -hmm. to be cooking Nigerian obono soup and I'll be adding some little little okra, you know, to spice it up and uh, yeah. So you guys, let's start cooking. You guys, my kids are in school. I said, let me take this two hours. Is it two hours? Because Miracle is getting out in the next two hours. Yeah. So I said, let me take these two hours and make the soup because there will be no distraction right now. So you guys, if you want to see how I make this, we are going to be cooking, cleaning, and uh, possibly eating. So you guys, let's get into the video. If you like this video, I want you to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, I welcome you to Ziki's World. I want you to stay with us and enjoy this cooking. I hope you will love it, right? Let's get into this video. <laughs> so guys, these are the ingredients I'll be using to make this um, obono soup. So I have here the kale, and the, over here is the dawa dawa and some ozuza seed. So this is cow food. I already pre-cooked it yesterday night so that it will be easier for me to, you know, put this together. So I have palm oil. I have my homemade um, habanero paste. <laughs> and also this is the one that I'll be blending it. I have some beef. I have beef heart. I have stock fish. I have um, onions I already cut. And then this is the okra I'll be using I got this from Walmart so this is the okra I'm going to be cutting it just to show you guys there are some things that are not here like the salt and the maggi but I'll be showing you guys when I'm going to add it to the pot so you guys let's cook so into the pot I'm going to be adding the the beef also the beef heart both of them take the same time to cook stockfish Add some onions. I will add some salt. Guys, I'm going to turn on the heat, then cover the pot and let it cook with let it cook with its own juice. And now we're going to be cutting the um, other ingredients. This is obono. I already added it and the bay, so I'll be adding some Moses acid and uh, blend everything together. <laughs> okay, you guys, the obono is blended, so I'm going to set it aside and blend the crawfish. I am done blending the crawfish. I have this container where I pour in the crawfish. I will not be using all of them because that's a whole lot. So, guys, let's check. Okay, this is after about 10 minutes, and um, I am cooking on a low heat. As you can see, it releases a lot of cheese. So I'm going to be adding more water to this so that it will help and cook this in the next 15 minutes. So, okay, we're going to cover it, let it cook for another 15 minutes. Then we'll start making the soup. Sharp, sharp. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to be washing the opera with salt. You guys, can you guess how much I bought this sakura? <laughs> I bought this sakura for four dollars, just one. So this is the okra. We are going to cut it right away.
O me kwa la kwa yo me kwa ya za O me muma I hope I'm getting this song by Messi Chimo. Okay, you guys, I'm going to leave this to soak for maybe like five minutes, then I'll wash it off and add it to the pot. Okay, let's go and check our pot of soup. Okay, this is the meat. It's uh, completely cooked. I'm going to add more water to it, then we start making the soup. What we'll do is to mix the... This is the obono. I'm not using all of them because that's a lot. So I'll take about five tablespoons. Six. Let's make it six. And then I will add some oil. Mix it together just like this. So guys, this is what we have. I'm going to pour it into the, the pot of boiling um, meat. <laughs> it's not yet soup, but we're going to add this to the pot. So we will cover this and let it um, cook for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. After about 10 minutes, I'm going to wash this two, uh, three times before while the obono is cooking. So go ahead and wash this and then set it aside. <music> So this is after about 10-15 minutes. This is how our bono is looking like. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And then add the remaining ingredient. Oh no, so kwanu kata 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 poto poto no pe. Okay, we will be adding some crayfish. Add um some crayfish. Add a little bit of salt. Remember, we washed our vegetable with salt. So I'll be adding just one of it. So guys, this is the one more. I will add it. Then I will add the fish. I'm not breaking it. I just did this yesterday. I just want it to be in a hole like this. And then... We are going to cover this pot, let it cook for just um, five to seven minutes, then we'll add the okra. Okra is gonna be almost the last thing to add to this pot. Over, let it cook. This is the kind of dance you do when you know that your bono is coming out good. This is the dance you do. Hey! <laughs> for us that doesn't know how to dance, for me, dancing is all about moving your body to the tune. Of what is so ever that is playing around you, but there is nothing playing around me. So I am dancing to the tune I am playing in my head. The tune I am playing in my head. Hey, hey. <laughs> you guys, I'm so happy to do this cook with me while we gist. There's nothing so much to gist. The gist is that 
after cooking this, I'll go and pick up my kids from school. I said, let me take this time that they're at school and do this cooking and do anything I want to do. I just have three hours. The time is 10, 30 a.m. So I have just like 30 minutes to leave this house. And I believe that in 30 minutes, our soup will be ready. I'm so happy. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> this is the world that is only in Nigeria. But you guys, I'm so happy to do this with you. I'm so happy, you guys. My Christmas, Christmas is smelling all around me. All around me. Because Christmas is red. So go to the store, buy red. We are to celebrate this um this Christmas. It's going to be awesome. Make sure if you have money, buy them the mother Christmas. If you don't have, call them on phone and wish them happy Christmas. <laughs> but you guys, let's check this soup and see what is going on inside this pot. One also pot so You remember this song? Apple salami, imanalo zimnope, potu potu nope, potu potu nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's check this soup. You guys, let's continue cooking. Okay. I hope you're enjoying this cooking. Let me know in the comment section. You see how I make my opono. Let me know how you make your opono. Opono can be cooked in different ways. You can fry it. You can... So many ways. But I choose this particular method. So yeah. Let's check the soup. So guys. Woo! Our opono is cooking nicely. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it is cooking so nicely. You guys. I feel like. I feel like. Making a variety way to eat this, but before then, I have to test for to make sure that uh, no, do not fail, right? This is the way we test it. Where we test right cooking, mm, so good. So now we're going to add the okra. This is the okra. I'm going to add it. Give it a quick stir, mix, mix, mix. Oh my goodness, you need to come close. You need to come close. You need to come close. So I'm gonna bring this camera close so that you see how this looks like. So guys, this is after adding the okra and then I will add the, the vegetables, which is the kale right away because I don't want this okra to overcook so yeah we'll add the kale and then cover it to cook for five minutes and our soup is ready as it is now i will add and i will stay because i I'll, i'm gonna be adding all the vegetables into the spot so yeah <laughs> i don't know should i add all of them well let's see So I'm going to cover this pot and let it cook for just five minutes. I don't want this to overcook. Guys, this is after about five minutes. Our soup is ready. You can see everything is still fresh. We don't want to overcook it, you guys, because the steam from this will continue to cook. But after five minutes, the vegetables, which is the kale and okra, is ready. Hey, you guys, take a look at this. It smells so good and tastes so good. I'm gonna be making some fufu and relax and enjoy the soup. Hey guys, let me know the best fufu for okra soup and all wonder. Let me know in the comment section what fufu do you use to enjoy your okra? <laughs> oh now, so koto 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 koto. When you cook good soup like this, oh now doggy kongi no ni no ni. Oh my god, take a look at this. Oh, bon no. Smells so good and tastes so good. Make sure it's very well cooked. Go and wake in and no, no. So that it will go easily with the food. Our food is ready.
Hey guys, we have come to the end of today's cooking cook with me. You guys, that was so mwah, finger licking okra soup with obono, or rather, obono soup mixed with okra. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You know what to do, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you're new to our channel, subscribe and be a part of our family. I want you to make this obono with okra some people make obono alone but if you add okra hey a lot of obstacles you got that good <laughs> but you guys i enjoy this i hope you enjoy it like i did i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching have a beautiful weekend bye <laughs>